Hello and welcome to the second part of the hot bar tutorial. Today we are just going to finish off the hot bar, so let's get into it. Before we do anything else, we also have to look at the remove item function. Now if I use an item in the inventory, we want to remove it from the inventory. That's quite alright. That works perfectly for our scenario. But if we are going to use a item in the hotbar, we do not want to remove it from the inventory because it's in the hotbar. So what we want to do is actually go through both of these lists and check whether the item is in the list and then remove it. But we can probably do it in a better way. So just go if the inventory item list dot contains and if the item inventory item list contains the item, then we want to remove it from the inventory item list. And let's copy this and add just in else in here else if the in we don't want to check twice for the inventory we want to check for the hotbar list in here item list if this contains the item then we want to remove it in here so now we took care of the back end which is quite all right but we can still not actually switch the button we don't have any buttons to do that or come some kind of shortcuts so just open up the inventory slot script okay, let's go in here and change the use item function up a little bit so now if we click on the item it's just going to get used and nothing else happens but now let's say if i click the button and hold the left alt key i want to switch between the hotbar and the inventory okay so let's try and implement it so if the item is let's say equal to null then just return out of this function and don't do anything so that we don't have 10 if statements in each other so when do i want to use the item and when do i want to switch in between the hotbar slot and the inventory so just make an if statement and if input.get key not get key down just get key because we want to check if the user is pressing it not if he has pressed it in this current frame so if the user is holding the alt key down and in here for the key code and you can do whatever button you want i'm just going to do the left alt i think an arc or some kind of game like that you can use the left alt to switch items around which is quite good in my opinion and in here we just want to actually go to the inventory dot instance dot switch hotbar to inventory and we want to pass in the item of the item slot and else if we are just pressing it with the left mouse button we want to use it awesome and let's also make a debug.log just trying to switch so that we know that we are trying to switch the current item we also have to change one little thing the on cursor enter we have to check if the item is not null because in the inventory we have no buttons in here and we instantiate buttons as we go if i add a item to the inventory i'm going to instantiate a new item slot but if i have the item slots in here already because the hotbar is not going to be dynamic it's just going to be a static field these two functions will still get called if we hover with the cursor over the item slot in the hotbar we could make a different script for all of these but i would rather prefer just to null check it and it's just going to be easier because we can just reuse this script so if we do not have an item so item is equal to null we want to return out of this function and don't do anything and the same thing on cursor exit because in here we would try to access the item.name and item.getDescription function but we don't have an item we just have an empty item slot so just null check it and if it's null we don't want to display anything we are also going to need a clear function because now we have a destroy function because the inventory if we remove an item we just want to destroy the whole slot but in here we want to clear the slot if we remove an item so public void and let's just make a clear slot and in here just the item is going to be null so that we reset it and the icon dot sprite is going to be null as well awesome let's now try to set these functions up so go to the hotbar controller and right here we are trying to use the item with a key binding we let's remove the debug.log and where you want to actually use it we have a reference to the hotbar slots right here which we get in the start function so we can use that in the update function as well so the hotbar slots on the i index dot use item we are just going to use the item when we click any of the given buttons. So when, once we click a button, we just want to use the button on the I index like this. So let's set up the references that we have. So go to the FPS controller, which holds the inventory script and the hotbar controller. We have to drag the hotbar in here. And now if I start the game and open up the inventory, I press a couple of times X, which spawns random buttons. And if I hit the alt button, trying to switch, that's good. If I hit it a couple of more times like this, we get a no more no more slots available because we have six items in the hotbar and i can check it be by going to the fps controller 
and the hotbar items we have six items that we clicked in the hotbar but it's not being displayed because we are not updating the buttons or the ui of the bot let's try and do that that's going to be quite simple but it's working which is quite all right but if i click on any of these buttons it doesn't do anything because we are not adding any items to the hotbar let's go back to the hotbar controller and let's make a private void function and let's call this the update hotbar ui this is the same principle as the inventory ui function so in the start function we want to add this function to our callback. So inventory dot instance dot on item change plus equals the inventory UI without the parentheses like this. Because if I go to the inventory and the on item change, we call it each time we change something in the inventory. Like here, when we switch the hotbar inventory, we know that we changed an item from one list to the other list. And then we want to actually update the UI. The same thing when we remove an item. We don't know if we removed an item from the inventory or the hotbar. So we just have to invoke it in both scenarios. So let's go back to the hotbar controller and finish this function. In here we need to get the count of the list. Make a current used slot count. So let's in here make a integer and let's call this the current used slot count. And this is going to be equal to the inventory dot instance and the list with the hotbar items is the hotbar item list dot count this integer is going to hold the current item count in the hotbar and now we want a for, for loop for int i is equal to zero while i is less than the hotbar slot size this is the child count and i plus plus and here we just check if i is less than the current used slot that means that the slot with the i index is currently being used so if we, if we have three items it's going to be one, zero one and two if it's being used we want to access the hotbar slot on the i index and we want to add an item and what item do we want to add the item corresponding to the list to inventory dot instance dot hotbar items list and on the i index like this and else we made a function to clear the slot so hotbar slots on the i index dot clear slot so that the slot doesn't hold the image of the previous item before we override it and we don't get any null references awesome now if i start the game we are still going to have one little thing that worked with the inventory system fine but it's not going to work here so now if i add a couple of items and hold the alt key while clicking on an item i can actually see it here it pops up in the hotbar which is quite good the display of the stats still works so i can add a couple of more items like this and once i get up to six and if i click on the berries it shows no more slots available in the hotbar but now we get one little error which is if i click on this berry right here in the hotbar it's just number two okay if i click on it with my left mouse button i'm going to use it here consuming health item at 25 but it does not vanish from here it vanished from the inventory and the same thing is going to happen with the stake so if i hit the number one button above my queue just like this it's going to vanish from the inventory it's going to add 10 right here the consuming food item at 10 and again it's just going to add from here primarily and then if i hit it and don't have any more items in the inventory it's going to remove it from this so why does that happen so if we now open up the game manager and here we are instantiating the items or actually we are not really instantiating we're just adding a reference to the already existing item in the item list to the inventory but if i would actually instantiate each item so that an item the new item is going to be equal to this stuff in here so that we just get a reference to the item that we want to add once we have a reference so we know which item let's say the steak for example we want to make a new instance of it so in the inventory dot instance we want to actually instantiate a new item the same thing with game objects and we just want to instantiate a new item instance so for example this is going to be set up to a steak and then we want to instantiate a new stake, not just add a reference to the already existing stake. This is basically just a pointer if you know C or any of these languages. But we want to make a, a completely new object, not just a reference to a, a already existing object. So that's why we have to instantiate a new item. So now if I go back to Unity and start the game, and if I press a couple of times X so that we have lots of items. So for example, this stake and this stake are not the same in memory. Now if I press Alt and click on the item and add a couple of items to the inventory, hotbar i can again add six items that's functioning the same way but now if i eat this steak let's say i click on this steak with my left mouse button it's going to be removed from the hotbar because this steak has now a different id and now if you're checking if the 
whatever list, the hotbar list contains a stake, it's going to say yes, because the item is saved in a different spot in memory. But now if I also press the alt key and the bury, it's going to get back into the inventory like this. Awesome. If I press any of these buttons, they're just going to switch back and vice versa. And I can also use my button. So if I press number one, it's going to use up the wood. And now if I press number one, it's going to just say using stone, wood, stone and stone. Awesome. I'm sure you found this interesting. So just smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, share it wherever you can. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.